so good evening today we'll try to discuss about a concept called wcf in the wcf we'll discuss about the hosting mechanism in wcf the hosting mechanism in wcf so first of all we'll see what is a hosting hosting is nothing but placing the wcf service in a appropriate location and once when you create the wcf service you can place that particular service in a uh, appropriate location is called as hosting generally we can host the wcf service in three ways one is by using self hosting and the other one is by using ias hosting and the other one is by using vas hosting these are the three ways where we can host the wcf service today we'll try to concentrate on the self hosting right so here self hosting means whenever you create a wcf service you have to place that particular wcf service in uh, you have to, i mean to say that you have to host the service either in a console application or windows application right let us see here so while working with self hosting we have to follow three steps step number 1 is we have to create the service step number 2 is uh we have to host the service we have to host the service and step number 3 is consume the service here we can host the service either in console application or in windows application and uh, we can consume the service in any of the applications like console or windows or web application right so just we will see how to create the service now initial i will try to go to start there i will try to open my visual studio editor i will go to all programs or here it is already available i will open my visual studio editor so here in our visual studio i will just go to the new project and uh, below that i will try to select uh, other project types is there on template within this other project types you can find visual studio solutions i want to create a blank solution the name of the solution here i want to give something like examination service here i want to give the service name as examination service that is uh, or simply i'll give as examination demo i will give as the solution name so once when you go to the solution here you got the solution first of all i'll try to explain the requirement generally i want to create a service for a particular examination department let us assume uh, if you consider the btech students they will try to write the exams generally their exam marks will be calculated based on two categories one is internal marks and the other one is external marks so let us assume out of 100 marks i am considering the internal marks for be for 20 marks 20 marks is internal marks and uh, uh, eight remaining 80 marks is the external marks that is my requirement here so i want to calculate the final result and the percentage let us consider for three subjects for each subject there are two marks will be there one is internal mark and the other one is external mark and the internal mark is for 20 and the external mark is for 80 so totally for each subject 100 marks will be there i want to calculate the total number of internal marks and total number of external marks for example if you consider a student with roll number 101 with the name anil having internal marks having internal marks some 15 15 and 15 marks subject 1 15 subject 2 15 and subject 315 and he is having the external marks something like uh, some 40 some uh, 40 and some 40 so what is the total number of internal marks m1 plus m2 plus m3 45 and the total external marks is 120 so what is the total marks you got tell me abrad what is the total marks you got 100 75 something around like that sorry 165 i think that 165 is the total marks 
So how to calculate the percentage? 165 by 3. Is it clear? So this is my requirement. What I want to develop right now. So generally, I want to create one WCF service here. So for that, I just open my Solution Explorer. Right click on the Solution Explorer. I want to add a new project. A solution is nothing but it comes of collection of projects. Your project may be a console application or it may be a Windows application or it may be a web application or it may be a um, class library or it may be a WCF service. You can consider each and everything as a project. Generally, here I am considering the project as I will try to select my WCF service. So simply here I will select the WCF and here I will select WCF service application and the name of the service I will try to give as something like uh, uh, examination service the name I will try to give as examination service I will try to give and I will click on OK now once when you go to your solution explorer within your solution explorer you can find one project is created so step number one I already discussed create the service is it clear so here I am creating the service the name of the service is examination service once whenever the service is created within that service you can say one interface is created the name of the file is iservice1.cs and one service class is created service1.svc.cs is it clear by default you will get some code in interface you just delete the entire code here you can delete the code that was available within the interface here also you delete the class generally what is an interface actually interface is a type which consists of uh, interface is a type which consists of uh, methods and properties by default the interface members are public and abstract generally WCF we will call interface is a contract Contract is nothing but it is an agreement between itself and its implemented class. It means that whenever you declare an interface, it means that you are providing some set of specifications. Any class that is implementing the interface must implement the interface in the derived class. That is mandatory. So in WCF, we will try to expose the interface outside the world. If you want to expose the interface outside the world, you have to declare the interface with an attribute called service contract attribute is it clear and I will declare one interface here the interface name I will give always interface name starts with I so here I will simply give the name of the interface is I internal uh, marks simply I will do I internal marks and the methods in the interface in WCF you must declare with operation contract attribute which attribute operation contract attribute to expose the method outside the world you have to declare that attribute and here my, our main aim is not to discuss about this service contract and operation contracts our main aim is to work with self-hosting that's why i'm not concentrating on all those things so here within this interface as you know that interface by default the interface members are public and abstract so again you know need to declare the method with public and abstract simply i want to declare one method int the name of the method I will give as calculate total internal marks. Calculate total internal marks I will try to give here. The written type of the method is int. Here this method I am passing to three input parameters. One is int m1, int m2, int m3. Why I am passing three parameters means my requirement is to calculate the internal marks for the three subjects. And here I will try to declare one more service contract attribute because I want to declare one more interface and here also I will simply copy paste I will declare the name of the interface as i external marks i external marks and here I will try to simply write the external marks here I will write the calculate total external marks for three subjects is it clear are you following here i declared one more method called calculate total external marks right 
So I want to implement these two interfaces. Actually, interface is a service contract in WCF. We already know the main advantage of interface is used to achieve the multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance means a single class is implementing from more than one interface. Right. So here I am having one class called service class. Within this service class, some dummy code is available. You just uh, remove that code. And uh, my service class is inheriting, is implementing two interfaces. One is i internal max, comma, other one is i external max. Is it clear? So this is how we can use the multiple inheritance. A single derived class is implementing more than one interface is called as multiple inheritance, right? So we already know that the, what are the methods that we declare within the interface? We have to implement the methods in the derived class. Now I want to implement those two methods. You simply select here. Here you can see implement interface internal marks. It is automatically implemented. Similarly here also I want to implement the external marks method also. Simply select that uh, ellipse. Then you can directly get the implementation of both the methods. And whenever I try to execute this calculate total internal marks, I want to return the total internal marks how to return return m1 plus m2 plus m3 is it clear so actually when you execute this method this method will return a value which is of what type integer type so the result of this method you can store in which variable integer variable similarly when you try to call this method mm, when you try yeah when you try to call this method, calculate total external marks based on three subjects, this method also will return three value, uh, an integer value. See here, you don't confuse. The first method is returning the, it is returning the total internal marks of three subjects. And the second method is returning the total external marks of three subjects. So once when you go to your solution explorer, under your solution explorer, one project is there. Right, my service is created. Step number one is completed. Create the service. Is it clear? Once when you create the service, you build the service. Click on build, build solution. So build progress, build succeeded. What is the meaning of building the service? Building the service means, actually what is happening here means, uh, you are compiling the service. Whenever you compile the WCF service, then the compiler will generate .dll file. If you want, you can right click on your project, go to open folder in Windows Explorer, go to bin, go to debug. There you can see examination service. It is a DLL file. If you want to see the information of that particular service, here you can see somewhere you will get the name of the file. Actually, it is a DLL file. Is it clear? Here you see examination service dot dll, right? And whenever you compile the WCF service, the compiler will generate into dot dll file. Similarly, when you try to compile the console application, it will generate dot dhc file. Windows application also dot dhc file. When you compile the class library, it will generate dot dll file. When you compile WCF service or class library or ASP.NET web application, then it will generate .dll file. Is it clear? We cannot execute the .dll file. We can simply reuse it. But .exe file we have to execute. We cannot reuse it. That, that is separate concept. Now the second step here, what I want to do here is, I want to host the service. We can host the WCF service either in console application or in Windows application. Right. So right click on the solution, I want to add one more project, add new project and now I will try to select the Windows Forms application because I want to host the service in Windows Forms application, is it clear? So here I will just give the name as uh, uh, Windows Host, the name I will give as Windows Service Host I will give, simple name I will give, Windows Service Host. I am giving the name of my project. So once when you go to your solution explorer, here you can find two projects are there. One is examination service is the service what we created. Windows service host is nothing but the service host. We are trying to host the service in 
Windows Forms application.